Welcome back to Red Dead Online. In this video, I'm going to be telling you about a method that will give you a permanently private lobby and it works 100%. It's very, very simple, but it's going to require two people. That's it. You can have a posse of seven, but it's just going to take two of you to set this lobby up. This should help with legendary animals, it should help with animal spawns in general. It could possibly lower the amount of times you're getting disconnected because there's just no other players on the lobby, it's just your own private. Absolutely no one can join this unless they are invited. So you need to have one player ready to start up a poker match and one player in a free roam. I'm going to be explaining it how it's done through Xbox, but I'm pretty sure it works across all platforms. You just need to find the way to join the player's session from the person's perspective that is at the poker table. Con was sat at the poker table, I was in a free roam lobby. This lobby probably had like 20 plus players in it, not entirely sure, but it was just one that I joined from the main menu. So Con sat at the poker table, he starts up a private poker match and sends me an invite. I do not accept that invite straight away. I wait for Con to load up his friends list on Xbox, find where I am, and then get ready to join my game. Then what you need to do is both join at the same time. So the player who's at the poker table, make sure you, like, you're like you hovering over join session for connecting to your friend. And then the player that's in the free roam lobby or doing whatever else, make sure they are on the invite section. So on Xbox, you press left on your D-pad, go down to invites, the poker invite will be there. So I opened up that menu, sat there, waited, con loaded up my like profile, gamer card or whatever, he sat there. Then you communicate, and sometimes this isn't going to work just because of timing. That's all it takes. Like it's, It works 100% of the time, but you need to have the timing spot on. So the first time it didn't work, it put me into the poker game, but then I quit, and we did it again, and it worked the second time round because we got the timing spot on. So the way we got the timing down to a T was for Con to be ready to join session, me to be ready to accept the invite to the poker game, because it's basically just going to make your connections clash, it'll kick you out, and then for some reason it puts you into a private session. So I did a countdown, I said to Con, I'm going to accept in 3, 2, 1, now. As soon as I accepted to join the poker game, that's when he accepted to come and join the free roam. You will see exactly what's happening on the screen. It put me in the clouds and then it put me into a session. You go to the players list and it's just you. You are literally in a private. Then what we did is a little bit of testing because Con tried joining. I sent him an invite because you can't just join. I sent him an invite and it just kept him loading. Black screen, you have the little revolver spinning around in the bottom right corner. So what you had to do was dashboard and just get invited into that session again. Mitch managed to join straight away. I fast traveled over to Blackwater to go meet up with Mitch. And then Con managed to get in on the second attempt. So he literally just dashboarded, loaded the game back up, and it worked second time. Con did go into free roam, and that's the thumbnail you've seen and the image I'm going to put up on screen. He did go into a normal free roam and try joining my posse because he's already a part of the posse. He's an active member, so he should just be able to join. But once he tried joining, he got kicked back out of the game, and it popped up on screen saying, fail to join, this session is private, you need an invite. So I actually had to invite Con into the session and then he could join my posse. So very simple, just two players is all it takes. You can get yourself a private lobby by using the poker table. I do believe the glitch is old. And if it is, I'm just resurfacing it so that players are aware that if you're trying to do the naturalist role, you want peace whilst you're doing your trader. Because Rockstar can't be bothered to put private lobbies in, this is the way to work around it. And on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments as always. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.